I had a lot of people tweet in when we were talking about the big rip. And as per your request, they are, they asked what the big rip is. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, uh, all right. So in this book, this, so just to be clear, normally I am telling people what I think they would and should know. That's what's going on in most of my books. The difference between that and the cosmic queries construct is I'm responding to the curiosity of others. So this book has questions that have been asked throughout the millennia and they're in this book addressed whether or not we have a good answer for it. So some of it, we have excellent answers. We're good. It's in the, it's in the textbook. The next other kinds, it's like, this is the best I got for you. Okay. And other, there are questions we don't even know if we are asking the right question. So this book was not written based on what answers we had. It was written based on how deep the questions were that humans have asked throughout the history of civilization. And one of them is, how will it all end? So that chapter, <clears throat> there's like a half dozen, eight scenarios where we don't know which of these scenarios are going to win out at the end. But one of them is the big rip. And to me, that was the most terrifying, just to go through this and get the math right, and it was like, I could not sleep once I finally wrote this out. Okay, so here it is. Ready? We all know we're in an expanding universe. In fact, it's, it's accelerating. All right. That acceleration will continue to gain power over all the other forces of the universe. And in the not so distant future, by the way, it's already gained power over the most distant galaxies. That it'll, it'll accelerate them out of our horizon so we can no longer see them. As this continues, it'll accelerate every single galaxy of our night sky out of our horizon, thereby forever hiding any history of Big Bang cosmology that anyone could derive in apocalyptic Earth. The people rise up and they look up at the night sky and they see there's only stars there. All right. So as this continues, it will eventually start ripping apart stars from our galaxy. Then it'll start ripping, I, rip is the wrong word, it'll stretch the space between the stars within our galaxy and send the stars beyond our horizon, then the planets beyond our horizon. And as this continues, it, its power will get greater and greater and greater until it starts separating atoms from each other. So it'll start breaking apart molecules and molecules will scatter to the horizon. And then all you're left are particles. And then the power will become greater than the forces, the strong nuclear force that's holding the particles together. And it's stre it stretches those apart. Now you get, and this keeps going until you get to the, to the fundamental quantization of the space-time continuum itself. It's called the Planck length. And if it stretches that, there is no way that unit, it's like the pixels of the universe. It is the fundamental unit that all space-time is made of. Once you get to that, the fabric no longer has any stretchability left. Yet this force will continue to act. And all the only word we can come up with is that no, it will no longer stretch. It must tear. And I lay awake at night wondering what that even means. If you tear the fabric of the space-time continuum, what do you see through that tear? What comes in through it? What, what, what is it? What does it even mean to pose that question or to take it to that limit? Um, and by the way, we, we know when that will happen, okay? In about 10 to the 30th years. Yeah. Long into the future, nothing you got to so worry. So why about. is it keeping you up at night? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> With all due respect, Neil, you're gonna be dead. Yeah. And by the way, I I think you should uh, rename it from the big rip to see you bitches because that's really what's happening. It's that's what yeah. it is. It's that's the end of the thing, the end of the line, and and it's one scenario that presumes that the 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 dark energy. This is the stretching, ex uh, accelerating force. On, on the uh, expansion of the universe. It's really a pressure in the vacuum of space, which the more vacuum you have, the stronger it is relative to everything else that's trying to keep it together. And so 
it, so that's why it gets uh, as it gets stronger, it gets even stronger, right? So it's it the acceleration accelerates, if you will, and so um, so it'll happen in ten of the thirty years. There's some reasons to think that it might some other, something else will kick in, or that that might go away, or something else that we should worry about more happens before that. So all those scenarios are explored in that chapter of the book. So it's it was I was it's mind blowing really, and I've just if you wanted if you want your mind blown, there it is. <laughs>